It is the year 582 of Tamriel's second era. You are an unknown prisoner taken with others in chains to an underground ritual site. Music cut out there. Last in line, you witness the sacrifice of the others by a high elf necromancer. You know your turn is next. Intro cinematic placeholder, take note. As you lie on the stone altar, you look up to see the knife coming down. There's a flash, and then you wake up stripped of your soul in the horrific plain of oblivion called Cold Harbor, the home of the Daedric Prince Morlock Ball. So I assume this will all be a, a movie here, doing the real thing. And uh, Fucking Elder Scrolls Online, it's the beta. Um, and there's uh, the random character they gave me. Uh, the beta is only for two days, uh, Friday, yesterday for me, and then... Um, to tomorrow night, Sunday night, uh, for me. Well, I guess it'll be Sunday night for you tomorrow also. But maybe when you watch this video, it'll be Wednesday or Friday or... I don't know. I don't know. It could be fucking six months from now and you could want to go back and be like, Hey, I wonder what the fucking beta was like before the game was actually released. Well, it's like this. Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, we've all been waiting a very long time to play it. And for a while, it wasn't looking so good. Uh, it was looking like just another Warcraft clone. And now... Uh, Things have uh, things have changed. They've really uh, listened to the community and really put a lot of effort into it. And boom, we have what looks like a decent Elder Scrolls game for lots of people to play together, which is all we really want or wanted. Uh, so l l let's fucking make a character here. <sighs> all right, uh, male, female. We'll just stick with male. Ray. Uh, oh, what do we want our character name to be? Hmm, cannot start with a space. Okay, ends with a letter. We could do, you know, just cold purple thumb, right? That way... Well, there's really no reason for that. So let's go with, um... Uh, you know, I'm... May, I don't know how it's going to go with, uh... Launch. Am I going to have to stick with the character I make? I can probably start a new game. Uh, if this goes well. And I decide to purchase it. Which I probably, you know, will. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go with the name I use for almost every other Bethesda game. Now. That easy. Uh, Firefly reference. I'm sure you knew that. Let's see. Class. What do we want to be? Dragon Knight. Sorcerer. Nightblade. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, is that like a thief? Uh, or Templar, which I guess we are by default. Come on. Load up. Let me see. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's a little roguey looking. They're adventurers and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble. Relying variously on stealth, blades, and speed, Nightblades thrive on conflict and misfortune, trusting their lack in cunning to survive. I generally, when it comes to, to games like this, I generally try to go rogue. Uh, so we're going to go rogue. We're going to go Nightblade. <laughs> uh, let's go back to race. Let's pick our alliance here. Uh, the Daggerfall Covenant, 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 uh, the racial skills of the orcs reflect their people's harsh mountain environments, giving them bonuses with heavy armor and health regeneration. Okay, so Daggerfall, are they all orcs? Must be. Uh, the Aldmeri Dominion, the Wood Elves, the diversified racial skills of the Wood Elves reflect their woodland affinity, improved archery, stamina, and stealth make them dangerous foes. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, and the Ebonheart Pact, the Dark Elves, which we started out. I think I'm going to stay with Ebonheart. Uh, I have no loyalties toward any of their political causes. I also know very little of the storyline. I know there's three factions fighting for some shit. That might be the most unprofessional way to look at it, but... Yeah, I don't make any money off this shit, so, uh, fuck it. Uh, race. Oh, no, we can change our races. Yeah. What the hell am I talking about? I don't know. Doesn't fucking matter, does it? I think I might just stick with Dark Elf, though. Just because. All right, so we got our, our race, our alliance, our gender, our name, our class. Let's move on to body. Body type, muscular, thin. Now, we are rogue. We don't want to be too, too, uh, hefty, too beefy in the shoulders or chest area <coughs> so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go thin and muscular well a little more thin than muscular because we want to be in and out real quick height uh, rogues are like jockeys we want them to be short they want to be able to slip in and out of air vents and uh, wherever the fuck else you end up 
Ooh, excuse me for that hiccup. Skin color. We can go very light. Come on, load. Show me the lightness. Maybe that was light. Or we can go very dark. Oh, that's very dark. I think I'm going to go very dark. Uh, I think that's, that looks nice. Body marking. What does that mean? And the thing so far that I'm noticing is... Uh, it's taking a long time to load this shit. Also, uh, I do have all of my settings on medium. I have my, my anti-aliasing off. I'm just trying to improve the, the performance as much as I can uh, while recording at least these first couple of videos just so I know um, where I stand and if I can pump things up uh, for the video or not. How much of a drain it's going to be on my computer. So, we'll see. Alright, fuck body marking. Upper body, torso, chest size, gut size. Gut size? Let's suck that in. Suck that gut in, big guy. Uh, can we do something about these calves? He's got some fucking monster. He's like hiding grenades in there. I don't know what the fuck that is. Waist, uh, arm size. Head. I feel like everything is just like, <coughs> oh, leg size. No, that, oh, Jesus Christ. No, no. There's really no winning there with the calves. Fuck it. Face. Let's whip him around here. Let's see. Uh, he has a fine face shape. Doesn't really matter. Soft, heroic, or angular. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, uh, can we drop it right in the middle? Yeah, let's do that. This is what a soft, heroic, angular guy would look like if you were to run into him. And he also happened to be a dark elf, you know, in leather, I guess. Voice. Let's hear him. Whoa. <laughs> That's not very fucking menacing at all. Let's try this one. <laughs> all right. Uh, 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 that was closer, I think. I don't know if it matches our guy, though. Mal, I don't know if it matches him. No, I don't, are these all a little cheesy? Is it just me, or are these voices a little bit? No, that one's more muscly. There, yes, that's him, right there. Voice F. Oof. I what are these? Vo what are these? Because at one point I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, uh, let's try voice G. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, we'll stick with voice G. It, it sounds well-rounded, fun, but threatening. Hairstyle. Okay. Obviously the most important thing in any game is getting the hairstyle that suits you as a player uh, and tells other players... I'm serious about what I do and who I am as someone that you'll never actually see in real life. Unless you're one of the webcam YouTubers, in which case, you know, we'll see you. But uh, you guys tend to go for goofier looking things. Uh, so, uh, which means mohawks and shit. I know you're all wearing mohawks. There we go. That's not too bad, right? That says, I've seen some shit and I sometimes get haircuts, but it's not a priority. I just have the woman I'm laying next to cut my hair every six months. That, right? That's what that says. Good. Hair color. I kind of want to just go white. Let's. Can we go white? Yeah, white. It's great. A little bit aged. A little bit threatening. Uh, age is fine. Adornment. What is that? Let's crank it way up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> We're just leaving it. That was a surprise. I didn't see it coming. Uh, well, okay. Here's some uh, war paint or something. All right. We're we're just uh, we're gonna go plain faced here. Uh, forehead slope. We're not gonna worry about any of that shit right now. Eyes. Uh, white. Let's try no. Let's try black. I think this is good. This looks like a man uh, that you might be able to trust, were his mustache not sculpted with his own earwax. I think, uh, which is good. Uh, fine. We're just gonna jump. Let's see what some of these eyebrows are like. Look at this. He is, he's like your really cool uncle. This is great. He's cool old, can we change his name now? Yeah, he's cool old Uncle Mal. Uncle Mal. Look at that. Tell me this, yeah, all right, let's keep moving on. We don't want to keep fucking around forever. Oh, let's see, ears. Have I really been recording for almost 10 minutes? Oh my God, just doing this shit. This is the longest part of any goddamn game. That allows this novice gear. Try to uh. Holy shit! Uh, I assume this is by veteran gear they mean 
This is what you look like after you've been collecting a bunch of shit. I need that fucking mask right now. Okay, uh, great. All right, so let's hit create. Let's go. Let's jump into it. Request the requesting character lo load. We're probably going to cut this part out, so I'm just going to babble for a bit. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're back. Uh, started. Soul Shriven in Cold Harbor. Search the cell. Okay, shit. Okay. Uh, I just realized that I... Man, it really does feel like an Elder Scrolls game. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, again... Oh, I can hear something. I don't know what he says. Completing quest objectives will advance your character story. Uh, yes, okay. Basic stuff. Uh, again, I have all of my graphic settings between medium and low right now, just so I can get a hold of uh, my computer's ability to take care of it. You can see it around this bench that I have the anti-aliasing turned off. Uh, so you're going to have to just excuse that, because tough shit, uh, basically. All right, so let's, let's look around. Maybe, maybe there's some shit. C can we search this guy? Hello? Hello? Guy? Ugh. He's not waking up. Okay, let's put our dukes away. Can we put our dukes away? No, I, I I gave a power punch there to nothing. I guess I just have my dukes out now. Whoa, what was that? Completed. Search the cell and talk to the prophet. I didn't really search much of the cell. Uh, I, okay. So, does that mean there's nothing in here that I... Oh, shit, it's the prophet. Hello? Hello? Slowly, though. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. What's happening? Who are you? Or goodbye. Uh, you know, maybe we should just tell him to get the fuck out and let us sleep. Let us not deal with his shit. We don't want to go out there. We know there's a million dudes just like us ready to fuck us up. We don't want to deal with this. You? Now we're going to do it. What's happening? Like Who are you? you? I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet, Yet so, so much, much more. more. I am the past and the future. Both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. What do you want from me, or goodbye? Well, obviously, we're going to keep... If, as long as there's only two fucking options, we're going to go with what do you want from You me. must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Do I know that voice? You His voice? escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titanborn. Lyris Titanborn? Who is that? I don't understand. Tell me about Lyris... Titanborn. He's not telling me shit. We what? Let me open your door. Yes. Open this Pass door. It. Quickly. You must escape before the I thought, thought you were opening it. All to my own door. Complete a leave the cell. Choose and equip a weapon. Hold shift sprint. Choose and equip a weapon. Okay. Quickly. Follow urgency. Well, I gotta choose and equip a weapon, man. Uh, how do I do that? I for inventory, maybe? Oh, all right, cool. Uh, it appears as though I ain't got shit on me. So that's fine. You know, whatever. Uh, I do feel like I can turn my graphic settings up a little bit higher. Maybe. Settings. We'll come right back. All right, turned them up a little higher. I didn't do much. I turned the anti-aliasing on, and, uh... <coughs> I, I brought the subsampling texture up higher. Uh, can we can we search this guy? Hello? We can't search him. He's dead. There's nothing to him. What's in here? Cell door. We can't open it from that side. Somebody else is in there. They're busy right now. We can't do much about it. Okay. What's, what's over here? Is there anything cool over here? No. It wants me to hold shift to sprint. So I'm going to do that. Where'd you come from? I didn't, I didn't see you before. It's very panicky. Let's get that fuck out of here. Quick. There are weapons in the forge beyond these cells. Arms okay. Cell. I spent the whole time looking for weapons just now. You, could, you should have told me that when I left the cell, when you told me to load one. But, you know, it's fine. Whoa. Whoa, are these guys getting steamed? All their flesh just steams off? That's fucking... It's very metal of you. Just following these guys. Oh, Something weapons. Here we are. Uh... We have a lot of prisoners to arm. Oh, I have... Do I have two now? Yeah, I want one. Take! I just want one. Okay, great. What else do we have? Uh, a bow. Take! Give it to me! 
Uh, frost, uh, frost staff. Uh, maybe. Are there any? Uh, press I. Yeah, I know to press I. Okay, great. Where's my bow? Can I just take a bow? Yeah, equip it. Okay. Well, I've got an axe. It's not the best weapon, but you know, it'll do. Yeah. I'm coming with my axe. Right through this door. Fuck you. Open this door. Open this door.